Hey friends, Titus here. We're back in Denrim. We're about to uh, enter the smithy. Owen, the blacksmith here, he refuses to fix the armor and weapons of the militia because he wants them to attack the castle and rescue his uh, daughter, I think. Well, the militia is in no position to do that. And uh, this guy, Murdoch, who is the uh, leader of the militia, has asked us to talk to Owen and convince him to help because if the village manages to survive the attack that uh, will come when night falls then they will be able to enter the castle and maybe, who knows, save his daughter. We have to make him understand that. There's a, an order to uh, things. Let's see. Make his breath. What is that smell? It's like someone set a brewery on fire. Somebody's been drinking. Oh boy. So I let you in. You wanted to talk. Now we're talking. Mind telling me who you are? Okay, my name is TJ, a Grey Warden, helping ban Tegan. A Grey Warden, is it? <laughs> it takes all kinds. Anyhow, my name's Owen, though you might already know that. Care to join me as I get besotted? <laughs> or is there something in particular you wanted? Well, there was. Why have you locked yourself in the smithy? My girl, Valena. is one of the Alessa's maids and she's trapped up there in the castle but the mayor won't send anyone for her. She's been my life since my wife passed on two years ago. Now she's dead, or soon to be. I don't care what happens to me or the village or anyone. No. Okay, Mr. Smith. You have to understand. Oh boy. So you intend to drink yourself to death? Why not? It's not like we're going to live past the night anyhow. We are if or you are help you going out. To save us? I intend to try. Is that so? <laughs> Maybe it's the drink talking, but you almost sound like you believe that. I do. It'd do me the world of good to think maybe someone like you to go with and find her. Provided any of us live through the night. I will do my best, sir. Not good enough. Murdoch said the same damn thing. And I didn't believe him either. What do you want what me to promise? do then? Oh. Promise me that you'll look for her. That you'll bring her back to me if you can. Okay, that I can promise. I promise you I will find her. We will do our best. Please believe us, friend. I'll accept that. It's something to hope for, at least. And I suppose there's no point in me sitting around, is there? No, there Time is not. Time to relight the forge and get the smithy going, eh? Murdoch will be pleased. Uh, I know he will. If you need will. anything done, well, just let me know. I've got a lot to do now, so you'll have to excuse me. Alright. So we have a new quest, Lost in the Castle. Hmm, you told Owen that you would try to find his daughter, Valena. She served the Arlesa Isolde, and Owen has not heard from her since the trouble in Redcliffe started. Owen believes she is still in the castle. Okay, we'll look for her when we get there. Ooh. As you say. Hey. What? I see you found my hiding place. What the? I stuck some old equipment in there before Murdoch could get his hands on it. Can I, uh, you know, help myself? I don't think there's anything you'll need in there. But it's hard to say. I was in a bit of a rush when I filled it up. Okay, couldn't the militia use this? Not if I'm going to repair the equipment they have. That stuff is old, anyhow. Yeah, oh. let me open it for you. I have the key. Oh, so actually I can take there uh, the stuff from the chest? Good, thank you. It has begun. Oh boy. That's a bunch of uh, trash. <laughs> Really, really trash. Okay, you're getting the uh, attention you need. Let's. Uh, will he trade with us? I must admit, it feels good to be up and doing something finally. I know. There's no way I'm sobering up before morning, however. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Nice to see you have. Nice to see you have some purpose. I've you to thank for that, stranger. Oh, Just don't do what you've it. promised, and it will have been worthwhile. Yeah. What do you know about what's going on? You mean why are these creatures attacking the village? Yeah. 
Why? Obviously, something wicked corrupts the castle. My daughter used to tell me the Arlesa was up to something, hiding things from her husband. I told Velena she was imagining things. But maybe the Arlesa was involved in something. Blood magic, maybe. Oh. Okay, what else did your daughter say? She thought the Arlesa was having an affair with some tutor she hired for the boy, Connor. I never listened much to her talk about it. Though I wish now I had. It doesn't matter anyway. She's lost to me. Don't lose I hope. I can't do anything about her warnings now. Don't lose hope. What do you know about the Arlesa? Only that she's an Orlesian girl from beyond the Western Mountains. Uh -huh. Far too young for our Arl. That's what I say. And too proud and it's strong from the sounds of it. Hmm. Do you think the Arlesa made the Arl Eamon... Uh, the Arl Eamon. <laughs> made Arl Eamon sick? I'd never make such accusations. But... Maybe, if she was using foul magic, then maybe she just did it that. Hmm. Have you told anyone about this? Of course not. And who would I tell? Ban Tegan. And what good would it do now, eh? I just wish I paid more heed to my girl. Alright, let's talk right. about something what? else. E business. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. Let's see, let's see what you have. Oh, I'm going to sell that, this, this, the green blade. I will sell this to the dwarf in uh, our camp. What else do we have here? Some really, really shitty armor. Let's see, soldiers, helm, scale, splint mail, heavy, scale, wow. He really has nothing of use. I thought he was only joking, but nope. Alright, what else can we sell? Ooh, we can sell these. And that, and this. And that's about it. Alright! Let's get out of here. And now... Oh, let's inform Murdoch. Of uh, what we did. Well, it looks like Owen's finally doing the repairs we yes. need. Yes. The damn fool is falling over a drunk and still manages to make smithying look easy. Good mm. enough, I say. Yep. I'll inform Bantigan the militia is ready to fight. We'll give those bastards a welcome they won't soon forget. Okay, okay. Oh. Uh, we're not only ready, Murdoch. We're going to win. Shh, I still need to speak with Sir Perth. You'll find him and his men at the mill by the bridge uh -huh. to the north. Okay. I have a good feeling about tonight. Okay. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering how drunk Owen is. We may just make it. We will, don't worry. Uh, okay, how's morale? The men's spirits are high for now. Far better than I expected, to be honest. Dwin's presence makes the men a bit more confident. It helps to know a veteran is on our side tonight. Mm -hmm. Since you convinced Owen to start repairs, we're pretty well armed now. That is a relief, let me tell you. Overall, I'd say the militia's very ready to fight. Never thought I'd say that, but there you go. Good. Is there anything else? No, not yet. I'll be back. I need to check on I something. I have a good feeling about tonight. Okay, okay. All right, let's go inside the chantry and tell uh, Valena, or I don't remember her name, that we found her brother. There, ah, Caitlyn, sorry, not Valena. Bevan said you were the one who found him. Yes. I can't possibly repay you. Oh. Oh, right. Uh, about the sword I found in your home. Bevan told me about Grandfather's sword. So you have it then? I suppose it won't go to waste, at least. Do you want something for it? Uh, I'll return it after the battle. It belongs to your family, right? Use it well. If we survive, I'll gladly take it back. Thank you again for Bevin. With my mother gone... Well, I'm just glad he's safe. I, I can't thank you enough. Don't worry. I'll take a kiss from a pretty girl. Oh, I won't because Liliana's behind me. No, 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 no. Just stay safe, both the of you. The sent you. I just know it. Thank you again. Yep. 
Don't mention it. All right. Next is uh, rah, rah, rah. what's next? Oh, I know. Let's go and talk to the Templar, right? Where is he? There we go. He is up there. What's here? It's a house. Caitlin's home, Dwin's home, general store. We'll... Oh, actually could go there. There's the tavern, the smithy. You know what? Let's go and talk to Sir Perth, and after that, visit the tavern. Or we could go to the tavern right now. What is this? Can I get there to get those? Oh, yes, I think I can. Or not. Let's see. No. How do I get there? From behind? No. Uh. How do I get to these? To those things up there? Ah, there's a path! <laughs> This is actually a shipyard. <laughs> yeah, not really a shipyard. But uh, there are building ships here. Lesser injury kit and. Allow me. I could do Please that do. for you. Some shitty shield. Okay, to the tavern then. Come on. Come on. There we go. Should we go to the... No! I'm sorry. <laughs> yep. Really, really sorry. Let's... Uh, that's a house. We'll get to it. Let's first go and talk to... This paladin right here. We'll go exploring afterwards. We'll have to be mindful. Not to... Uh, be too late, you know? We don't want the attack to start before we're ready. There's that guy here with the militia. Redcliffe Castle. Oh, I don't want to go in there. Not yet, at least. No, 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 no. What? What did I just do? No, 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 no. Was I supposed to do this? No, I was not supposed to do this, but... Oh, well. Here I am. Yeah. The door is closed, of course it is. Oh god. I thought that I messed up. I almost did. Tomas, here he is. Eh, hey, look! Tomas is uh, wearing armor now. Isn't that nice? I can't believe how relieved I was to hear you're helping us. Maybe we do have a chance to. Of course we have a chance, are you kidding me? Why is only Tomas wearing armor and this guy is not? Am I supposed to do something more? This is Sir Perth, let's Very well. pickpocket him. This is a wooden crate. As it has been for days. It is an unnatural stillness, as though there is naught in there but death. Say Stealing no more. From knights. We are libs, and I will Ooh. not listen to your inauspicious. Andras is grace. A gift. Oh, this is for Liliana. Landmark tree. Mm. Dog will uh, most likely enjoy this. Mubari dominance is active. Good. All right. Now we can talk to Sir Perth. Greetings, Grey Warden. I am as relieved as Ban Tegan is to see you here. Mm -hmm. I must admit that I do not quite know how to address you. Is my lord sufficient? Oh no no no! Just call me Grey Warden. Call me Grey Warden, for that is what I am. Grey Warden, it is then. And thank you kindly. I am Sir Perth. Until recently, in direct service of Al Eamon of Redcliffe. For now, my charge is defending the village from these evil assaults. Would that I had chosen not to seek out the urn of sacred ashes, 
Perhaps I would have fended off whatever evil befell the castle, or perhaps I would be dead. Ah, well, with the Grey Warden aiding our defense, perhaps all is not lost. Have faith. Is there anything I can do to help? We have sufficient armor and weapons, but my knights are too few to stand against the monsters without assistance. Perhaps you could approach Mother Hannah in the Chantry for some holy protection against these evil creatures. Oh, okay. Otherwise, I do not know what else you could provide beyond your own talents. We're as prepared for the onslaught as we could possibly be, all things considered. Okay. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the Mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Okay, okay, okay. I have Ask some questions. Whatever though. you wish. Uh, where can I get supplies? I'm not sure. Murdoch mentioned a blacksmith in the village, but I believe the militia is using everything he had. Uh -huh. Beyond that, you might try the village store. Yep, it's I will. It's locked up, but there may be items of use still within. I do not know. Okay, what about the tavern? Ugh, a fellow named Lloyd runs it. He refuses to close and evacuate to the Chantry. I suppose he might still have something to sell you. Though I wouldn't encourage dealing with a fool. He's a profiteer <laughs> and nothing more. Okay, I'll try the tavern. You mentioned something about an urn. When the Isle fell sick, we were at a loss. Nothing worked to cure him and he just kept getting worse. Finally, our lesser Isold came up with a plan. The urn of sacred ashes is a legendary artifact set to hold great healing powers. If found, it might save him. They say the followers of Andraste smuggled her ashes out of Tevinta and hid them in Ferelden. Mm -hmm. The urn's never been heard of since. We knights volunteer to seek it out. Few of us have returned. Many are still out there, unaware of what is happening here. Okay. Just, uh, what was the urn sick with? We were never certain. He thirsted for water and then grew weaker and weaker. He brought in a mage, but even that did nothing. The Alessa believed he was cursed and that we needed the power of Andraste herself or he would surely perish. Okay. Why did the Arlesa believe anyone could find the urn? The Al once employed a scholar, Brother Genetivi. Oh, he I know him. Proof the urn was in of him. Or so I was told. Uh -huh. Can no one find the other knights and bring them back? Eventually, perhaps. The ones I have here were those near enough to recall within the last few days. I only returned myself because I was passing by Redcliffe and heard the news of strange attacks. Oh, okay. So the knights left the castle defenseless? Not at all. A great number of soldiers remained in Castle Redcliffe. I wonder if they perished there and were transformed into these things. I don't know. The thought chills my blood. I want to discuss something Every else. Uh, what is your status? Although we are far better equipped than Murdoch and his villagers, we knights are too few. Things will be grim after sundown. Overall, my fellow knights are nervous about the coming battle. Death is almost certain. But we will fight and die valiantly, if that's what the Maker demands. Okay. Carry on then. As you wish, Grey Warden. Maker watch over you. Alright. Let's see what's inside the windmill. If anything. Ooh, a love letter. Good. Good, 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 good. We need more of those. There is nothing here. Oh, okay, he wants me to go to... Yeah, to the Chantry and ask the Revered Mother for some amulets to help in the fight to come. Okay, I will. But first, let's... Uh, what the blaze is... Oh, it's a fish. Let's check this house and see what's in it. House. Just like that. House. Okay. Ooh. There's some guy there. Wait. Very well. There we go. Allow me. I could do that for you. Yeah. I know. Alright. Who is this guy? Yes, what can I do for you? Oh, he's one of those that I need to conscript. I knew this time would come. I should have listened to my wife. Don't sign that paper, she said. They might pay you a few sovereigns now, but they'll be back. Blast. 
I'll see you on the front lines, I suppose. You will. You will most definitely meet me. Okay, so now... I did this. I did this. I did... Oh, no, 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 no. I still have this guy. In the alien age. Alien age. Uh, it was closed off because of the rebellion. Yeah, one more then. Right, let's leave. Good thing I checked this house. There was no indication about a quest there, but... Oh well. Now let's hit the tavern before we go back to the Chantry and ask for help from the... Uh, Reverend, Revered Mother or whatever. Let's make a quick save and enter. Uh, enter. <laughs> Bella Berwick Graffiti Lloyd Militiaman, Militiaman, Militiaman Nothing there What's this graffiti? It shall be done Oh Damn it I forgot to put on the uh, sash Nothing in the kitchens Let's uh, save and start pickpocketing because why not let's pickpocket these guys first Come on. good why are these guys in here drinking they should be outside getting ready for the fight shouldn't they Come on. Okay, let's talk. We just come here to try and forget what's happening. Okay. Murdoch don't like think us it, being here, but I can't believe Lloyd won't even give us some free ale. A time like this, and all he thinks about is turning a profit. Did you expect any different? That bastard's always been cheaper than an antique from the hall. <laughs> Here we are defending the village, and he don't even have the decency to help us out. Okay, better you should be drunk for the coming battle. <laughs> it's his ale, he can charge whatever he wants. Maybe we should help defend the village instead. Ha! <laughs> I've seen Lloyd handle a sword. He should stick to oh, something he, he knows yeah. about, like keeping me nice and drunk for the fight. Lloyd is charging us for coin we don't even got anymore. Nobody's working right now. We're all just trying to survive. Ah, uh, what difference does it make? He won't care. Oh, maybe he will. Let's see. Convince the barkeep to give the militia free drinks. All right, I will. First, let's pickpocket him. Make another quick save and go for Hello it. Hello there, friend. Hello. Can't say we've ever met before. Stranger to the village, I take it. Yes. Haven't had many travelers lately. All this nonsense is bad for business. Bet you regret coming, yes? Mm, no. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, you know, evil creatures, impending doom, civil war, and the Earl's dead in the castle. How do you know that? Makes you thirsty, don't it? So, what'll it be? You are here to drink, I hope. Okay. Mm yeah I hear you're charging the militia for ale. Why shouldn't I? They may not have much coin, but I'm not giving it away for free. Their money... Okay, think of the goodwill you'll earn. I, I never thought of that. Hmm. Maybe I could try it for a bit. Try it. Right then, you men over there. Drinks are on the house. All militia drink for free. Oh, you're a saint, Lloyd. Ha-ha! If them creatures don't kill me, I swear they'll bleed me dry. <laughs> Something else I can get for you? Okay, let me see what you have right. first. I've got some supplies, too, in case you're interested. Oh, do you? With the store closed down, it doesn't hurt to pick up some of the slack, eh? Oh, right, the store. We need to go to the store. Let's buy the poultices. Let's get more ale for Ogren. Uh, chipped. No, I don't need that. I don't need that either. 
I don't need this. Clear, 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 clear. Silver ring, I don't need it. Don't need that. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Lesser injury kits? Nah. I've got win with me. Let's sell those. And uh, wow, I have so many elf roots. Why am I not. Jesus, why am I not making potions? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where is it? Let's put it there. Okay. Why am I not making potions? Ooh, I only know how to make lesser health potions. Why? Okay, let's make some lyrium and then Oh yeah, let's make lesser I need flasks. God damn it, I need flasks. How do I learn how to make better potions? How can huh? I get you? Uh let's see what you have. Right. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh whoa, 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 where is it? Where is it? Flasks. Ooh, he has plenty of them. I'm not buying all of them, seriously. Let's buy uh, 40 flasks, okay? Right win. Go to work. Nice! Hey, what can I get you? Let's see what right. you have. Maybe I should have bought more. Good, 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 good. Uh, not elf root. Come on, where is it? Where are the flasks? There they are. Oh, here is stocks. Let's buy 40 more. And that is it. Or not. Let's make more lyrium potions for her. Good. Good. Quick save and then talk hey, to him again. How can I get you? Uh, who are you anyway? Name's Lloyd. Okay, so, how about that? why'd you come to the village now? The roads can't be all that safe, not with a war brewing. Okay, I'm a Grey Warden. Well, that explains it. Except for the lack of dark spawn around here. But never mind me. Something else I can get for you? Okay, answer a few questions. Fine, make them quick. Shouldn't you be helping defend the village? Why? When them creatures attack, I lock myself in the cellar, just batten the hatches and wait it out. What's the point in getting myself killed with all the rest of them? If that makes me a coward, then I'm a coward. Okay. Either die fighting in the militia or die now. Oh, no, 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 let's not do that. Then be a coward if that's what you want. Well, yes. I suppose that is what I want. Okay. What do you know about what's happened here? Not a lot. Castle guards stopped coming in about a week back. It's unusual, too. They were my main source of business. After a few days, I thought it strange enough to ask. But nobody heard anything. Anyone going up to the castle didn't come back. When the first attack hit, I locked myself in the cellar. I say we just wait for help to come. Oh, uh, help is not gonna come. <laughs> Why are you still open? I'm not abandoning my tavern because of a few monsters. The second I'm in the Chantry, Murdoch and his men will be here drinking all my ale. Okay. What do you know about that elf in the corner? Not what much. Corner? Says his name's Berwick. Arrived here more than a week back. Waiting for his brother, he says. Oh. I've never seen him before, but he paid good for his room. Quiet sort. Okay. Okay. Alright, I should go. Alright then. Is this Berwick? Hey! Not looking for company. Okay, I hear you're Berwick. What? How did you know that? Uh, well, that's my name. Why? Mm, you seem awfully nervous. Why? I... no reason. I just didn't know how you knew my name. That's all. Okay... Oh, uh, I asked around. Oh, I guess that uh, makes sense. Uh -huh. Look, I don't know you, and I don't want to. I'm not... I mean, I was just told to... I mean, just leave me alone. What? What is going on with you? What do you mean? 
What were you told to do? Nothing. Nobody told me to do anything. Just because you're a Grey Warden doesn't mean you can go around threatening How people. do you know I'm a Grey Warden? Uh, this will be a lot easier if you just tell me what you're hiding. If I... But I never... Oh, all right, I'll tell you. Just... Just don't hurt me. I won't. This is more than I bargained for. Look, they just paid me to watch the castle and send word if anything should change. Who paid you? But they never said anything about monsters. I haven't even been able to report anything since this started. Who I'm stuck. paid you? Same as you. you, I swear. Okay, who are they? Who hired you to do this? A tall fellow. I forget his name. He uh, said he was working for Hal. Oh, Arl Rendon for that Hal. son of a bitch. He's an important man. Terran Logan's right hand. Yeah, I so know. I didn't do anything wrong. He's just a son of a bitch. Alright. What are you supposed to watch the castle for? Just to report any changes. Honest. All I could send word about was the Arl getting sick. After that, monsters started coming from the castle. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you know you're telling the truth? Here. This is a letter from them. It has instructions and everything. Keep it. Do whatever you want with it. I just okay. thought I was serving the king and making a bit of coin on the side. Okay, okay, okay. I get you it. You have to believe me. You're not to blame. Okay. Uh, start running. I want you out of the village. Fine. Go. I think you should help defend Redcliffe tonight. Oh, all right. I'll do it. Thank you for your mercy. I won't forget it. Mm, don't worry about it. Berwick's letter. Okay, now let's talk to this woman right here. Bella. Hello. Another doomed soul come to drown their sorrows here, I see. No. If you came here for a drink, you'd have to talk to Lloyd. He's got a vice grip on the spigots. I'm just here to keep the boys from mutiny. Okay. So how has business been? What business? Without the castle soldiers, the only customers we have are local. And they're all in the militia with no money to spend. Mm. The few with any money are here, but it's not enough to justify working. Lloyd's a greasy pig. And if I didn't need this job so badly, I... Okay, you don't care for Lloyd, I take it. He gropes me and pays me next to nothing. Oh. But I suppose it could be worse. Not like I've got many options. Okay, I could talk to Lloyd about this. No, no, that'll just make things worse. And that's very sweet, but I'll be fine. Are you sure? Okay, why don't you just leave? And go where? With no money and no prospects, I just end up somewhere else working for someone worse. Okay, I could... Uh... You could leave if you had some help. You mean after the fighting's over? I'd really like that. What would I have to do in return? Okay, how about not end up in another tavern? Well, I can't promise that, but thank you. I don't really know what to say. Say nothing. Shouldn't you be at the Chantry? Later on, yes. Lloyd will lock himself in the cellar, and I'll go to the Chantry. Are you... Fighting tonight? Yes, I am. That's... Good to hear. I didn't know that. Okay, I should go. Keep safe. You too. You too, princess. Oh, okay, let's go. To the Chantry and talk to the revered mother. Come on. Has Berwick arrived? Oh, look! Every. Oh, there's Berwick. Good. Murdoch. Everybody's wearing armor. Good. They're ready. Let's help the knights. So, we should talk with the mother. What is it you need, child? Well. Sir Perth needs holy protection from the knights. I have for the knights. all I can for them. I pray for them each night and seek the Maker's forgiveness for their sins before they face their deaths. What Sir Perth seeks is something that is not in my power to give. I know. Uh, what do you mean? Sir Perth believes that I can protect them against these creatures, a shield only the Maker can provide, and that I withhold this power. Well, can't you just tell him Whoa. the Maker will watch over him? Morale is a powerful thing, you know. You mean you want me to let them think the Maker protects them in a real sense? I will not lie to them like that. Uh, persuade. 
if it gave them confidence, then it does protect them, right? I suppose if they believed in the Maker's power, that belief would inspire them somewhat. Yes, exactly. It just seems like trickery. It is, Very sort well. of, but if it keeps it's for them a good alive, purpose. I will do what I must. Okay. I have a number of silver cast holy symbols. Tell Sapath that he can have them, and that wearing them will confer the Maker's protection. Good. Now please, let me tend to these poor folk. I must do what I can, and I suggest you do the same. Okay, 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 okay. The amulet idea is actually very good. Let's talk to him. I hear both Murdoch and Sir Perth are ready for nightfall. Excellent news. Uh -huh. Okay, tell me more about yourself. This is hardly the time to be discussing personal details. Right, 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 right. We will have to fight for our lives very shortly. He is right, he is right. And thus I'd like to know more about... Oh, okay. I suppose that's not too much to ask. I did not mean to be brusque. Don't worry. What will you do if our Lemon is dead? I don't know. If Connor lives, he'll be the Arl and I'll need to help him with it. Connor is his son? Okay. Well, I don't want to think about that. Okay, why have you stayed? Why not just leave? After the first attack, I wanted to go for help, but I couldn't just leave these people. The Bannon gear up to battle Loghain while Darkspawn loom to the south. Yeah. Loghain won't send anyone, so Redcliffe is on its own. Okay, are you a skilled warrior? Skilled enough to know there are many far better than myself. Okay, perhaps we should go back to the matter Good, then my secrets are still safe. I was worried for a moment there. <laughs> okay. Uh, you have some of Earl Emon's knights right now. Why ask that? Because I know they're there. Uh, I'll see what I can do. Very well. Luck be with you, my friend. Yep. Okay, let's, 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 let's uh, go back to Sir Perth. Let's go. No, let's not yet. Let's go to that store I saw. Here. No, not here. Here. There. There was a store right there. Let's see what's inside. Ooh. Oh, okay. What is this? A tattered shopping list. All right. What is that? There is lamp oil in these barrels. So what? Allow me. I could do that for you. Okay. What do you mean there is lamp oil? Uh, Mother Hannah has given all right. You f you notice some barrels of oil in the general store. Perhaps someone could make use of them to re defend. Ah, right. I remember this. Those will actually come in handy. I think the paladins can use them, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, probably them. Okay, let's have another chat with Murdoch. Where is he? There he is. I hear you got the tavern serving the militia free ale now. Yes. Well, I don't favor my men being drunk come sundown. I suppose it helps morale to have their minds taken off. What's to come? You have my thanks. The repairs are underway surprisingly quickly, considering I know. how drunk Owen is. Uh, we may just make it. Okay. I'll be back. I have a good feeling about tonight. Okay, okay. Good, good, good. Morale is good, as you said. Now let's talk to Sir Perth. Tell him about the amulets and about the barrels of oil. Let's see if he can use them. Come on. Come on! Alright. The Knights of Redcliffe are ready to fight at your disposal. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, you said you wanted... No, let's first tell him about the oil. No one told me of this. Oil, you say? Yes. How much exactly? Barrels. Plenty of them. I don't know. Enough to set many monsters aflame. Assuming that would hurt them. Yes, I see what you have in mind. That might be effective, if used carefully. Mm -hmm. Yes, excellent idea. I'll send some men to collect the oil. We'll use it to slow these creatures down. Good. Have you anything else to ask me in the meantime? Yes. Uh, you said you wanted holy protection. Have you spoken to the revered mother? I have. Has she offered anything? Yeah. 
Mother Hannah has some holy amulets. Would those do? Must we do this? The faith that will protect these men must come from their heart, surely. If they are the same as the symbols worn by their priests, well, that would more than suffice. Okay, you think it would actually help? Of course I do. These are Maker's symbols. What better protection could we ask for? I will send oh. some men to collect the amulets. Please give my regards to Mother Hannah for seeing some sense at last. Okay. Is there anything else you need? No, nothing comes to mind. If you have not spoken to the mayor, Murdoch, you should. His militia is far more in need of aid than we are. Okay, carry on. As you wish, Grey Warden. Make a watch over you. Ooh, Liliana was... did not approve of my... Uh, telling that night the amulets were real. Okay, let's do something about that, okay? Uh... Wait a minute. No, 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 no. This. Flowers? For me? <gasps> They're beautiful. <laughs> okay, don't you recognize them? These were her favorite. I know. I remember. I haven't seen these in such a long time. They smell just like mother used to. Thank you. Thank you so much for remembering. My pleasure. <clears throat> now we're back at 100%. But I remember buying some leather boots, right? Where are they? There were leather boots and they were uh, a gift. I don't see them anymore. There were satin boots or something like that. They were a gift. I intended to give it to Liliana. Strange. Maybe I already did. Who knows. Good. What's next? We actually did everything we could to prepare. Yep. We are ready to face the uh, onslaught of undead, guys. But we'll do that in the next episode. So, for now, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave a like if you did. If you did not, the dislike button is right there. Please leave a comment if you wish. I try to answer them all. And uh, come back for a brand new episode.